Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Today I am going to give a brief account on important aspects, structure and biochemical functions of cholesterol. Even common person also knows about cholesterol due to its involvement in myocardial infarction. But cholesterol is very useful compound and has vast variety of biochemical functions in the human body. Cholesterol is widely distributed in animal tissue. The man weighing 70 kg is having approximately around 140 gram of uh, cholesterol distributed mainly in the brain and nervous tissue, skeletal muscle, adipose tissue, liver, skin, spleen and so on. Cholesterol is absent in plants, but sterols are present in plants, for example, beta cytosterol. This beta cytosterol, which is absorbed in the, in the vegetables, which is present in the vegetables, not absorbed from gastrointestinal tract. They are from the enterocytes actually transported back to lumen along with the cholesterol. So, that means they interferes with the animal cholesterol absorption. So, they can be the dietary treatment for hypercholesterolemia. Coming to the structure of cholesterol. Cholesterol is a very hydrophobic compound. In the cholesterol, the A, B, C, D are the steroid nucleus. A, B, C, D are the steroid nucleus and there is the presence of hydroxyl group in the position number 3 of the A ring and there is the presence of double bond between 5 and 6 carbon atoms of the B ring and there is the presence of 8 carbon side chain which is attached to the carbon number 17 of the D ring and there is the presence of 2 methyl groups which is attached to the carbon number 18 and 19. Here in this ring structure, as you can see, the D ring is cyclopentane ring and A, B, C are the phenanthrene rings and hence the name cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrene ring. So, what is the difference between the sterols and steroids? Steroids having 8 to 10 carbon side chains which is attached to the carbon atom 17 and the hydroxyl group presence in the position number 3 are considered as sterols. Cholesterol is the main sterol present in the animal tissue. 
in the plasma the cholesterol exists in the form of cholesterol esters how this cholesterol ester is formed cholesterol ester is formed by the attachment of fatty acids in the position number 3 there is a presence of hydroxyl group in the a ring so attachment of fatty acid to the hydroxyl group present in the steroid nucleus to form cholesterol ester and this makes the structure more hydrophobic this is uh, about the brief uh, account on the structure of cholesterol i repeat the ring structure is known as cyclopentano perhydrofinantherin ring because there is the a b c d e, the steroid nucleus is present d is the phenanthrin a b c are the phenanthrin ring and d is the cyclopentan ring and the hydroxyl group is present in the third position and uh, carbon atom that eight carbon side chain is attached to the carbon atom 17 methyl group is present in the uh, carbon atom 18 and 19 and the presence of double bond in the position number 5 and 6 moving on to the synthesis of cholesterol i'll just uh, give a brief outline of uh, the synthesis of cholesterol synthesis of cholesterol is uh, virtually in all tissues in humans in the liver intestine adrenal cortex reproductive tissues make large contributions so coming to the subcellular site it takes place in the cytoplasm and smooth endoplasmic reticulum as uh, all of we know total 27 carbon atoms are present so almost all means 27 carbon atoms are derived from acetyl coa so acetyl coa mainly produced in the mitochondria but the cholesterol synthesis takes place in the cytoplasm so now how this transport takes place so in the mitochondria acetyl coa condenses with oxaloacetate to form citrate and the citrate is transported to cytosol with the help of citrate transport and in the cytosol citrate is cleaves to acetyl coa and oxaloacetate with the help of the enzyme citrate lyase so now the acetyl coa is reached to the cytoplasm and it is available for cholesterol biosynthesis total four molecules of nadps are required nadps are the reducing equivalents and this nadps are produced in the hexose monophosphate pathway coming to the outline of the synthesis of cholesterol two molecules of acetyl coa combines to form acetoacetyl coa with the help of the enzyme thiolase in the next step acetoacetyl coa is combines with another molecule of acetyl coa to form hmg coa in presence of the enzyme hmg coa synthase 
एच एम जी को ये इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एच एम जी इज हाइड्रोक्सी मिथाइल ग्लूटेराइल को ये एच एम जी को ये इज रेड्यूज टू मैवोलोनेट दिस इज द रिडक्शन स्टेप एंड टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एन ए डी पी एस आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस स्टेप द एनजाम इज एच एम जी को ये रिडक्टिस एच एम को ये रिडक्टिस इज द की एंजाइम ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायोसिंथेसिस दैट मींस इज द रेगुलेटरी स्टेप ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायोसिंथेसिस व्हाई दिस इज कॉल्ड एस रेगुलेटरी स्टेप बिकॉज द क्लिनिशियंस एंड द कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट have keen interest on this particular step because in the case of hypercholesterolemia clinicians prescribe statin drugs either the lower statin rosuvastatin there are so many statin drugs they are competitively inhibit the enzyme एच एम जी को ये रिडक्ट इज सो इनिबिशन ऑफ दिस स्टेप मीन्स स्लोज डाउन और प्रिवेंट द कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायोसिंथसिस सो इन दिस वे वी कैन ट्रीट हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोमिक पेशेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो एच एम जी को ये रिडक्ट इज is uh, controlled by several hormones insulin and thyroid hormones upregulates the gene of hmg coa reductase and activates this enzyme and in turn activates cholesterol biosynthesis whereas glucagon and cortisol down regulates the enzyme एच एम जी को ये रिडक्टिस सो इनिबिट्स द कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायोसिंथेसिस नाउ द कंपाउंड फॉर्म फ्रॉम दिस एच एम जी को ये रिडक्टिस इज मेवालोनेट सो मेवालोनेट कन्वर्टेड टू द आइसोप्रिनॉइड यूनिट्स द फाइव कार्बन isopentenyl pyrophosphate is formed isopentenyl pyrophosphate isomerizes to an another compound so this isomer the compound and isopentenyl pyrophosphate condenses to form a 10 carbon geranyl pyrophosphate so this geranyl pyrophosphate is required for the formation of prenylated proteins in the body geranyl pyrophosphate condenses with the another molecule of isopentenyl pyrophosphate to form 15 carbon farnesyl pyrophosphate farnesyl pyrophosphate is a very important intermediate of cholesterol biosynthesis and the its involvement in the formation of heme a dolichol ubiquinone they are the important biological compound for forms vast varieties of functions in the body two molecules of farnesyl pyrophosphate condenses to form 30 carbon squalene in the next step squalene cyclizes to form lenosterol the lenosterol in the multi step reactions to form cholesterol 
The multi-step reaction involves the removal of side chains, oxidative removal of uh, methyl groups, reduction of side chains and the dearrangement of the double bonds and finally we are going to get the 27 carbon atom uh, molecule that is our cholesterol this particular step lanosterol to cholesterol is is catalyzed by the enzyme 7 dehydrocholesterol 7 reductase. The partial or the complete deficiency of the enzyme leads to the condition known as Smith Lemley Opitz syndrome. It is a autosomal recessive disorder. In this case, the impaired of uh, cholesterol biosynthesis can be seen. The pathway is responsible for changes in the cholesterol concentration and regulatory mechanisms exist to balance the rate of cholesterol synthesis within the body against the rate of excretion. This is the brief outline of the synthesis of cholesterol. Next, we will move on to the major sources of liver cholesterol. The liver plays a central role in the regulation of the cholesterol homeostasis. Cholesterol enters the liver from a number of uh, sources including dietary sources. Approximately around 500 milligram of cholesterol is we take every day. And also cholesterol is synthesized in the body by de novo synthesis in the liver and also in the extrahepatic tissues. So, these are the major influx of cholesterol. And the cholesterol how they are eliminated from the body. Cholesterol is eliminated as unmodified uh, cholesterol in bile or it can be converted to bile salts and uh, secreted into the intestine. And also cholesterol is incorporated into the lipoproteins very low density lipoprotein which is the lipoprotein which carries the lipids from the liver along with the cholesterol to the extrahepatic tissues. In humans, the balance between the cholesterol influx and efflux is not precise, resulting in the gradual deposition of uh, cholesterol in tissues, particularly in the endothelial uh, lining of the blood vessels. It can be potentially life threatening. Deposition leads to atherosclerosis and increased risk of cardio, cerebro and uh, peripheral vascular diseases. So, that we have to maintain the blood cholesterol level within the normal range of 150 to 200 milligram per 
deciliter. Now, I am going to give a brief account on the functions of cholesterol. Cholesterol is a component of plasma membrane and also the intracellular membrane and especially they are present in the myelinated structures and they, they are the main uh, component of the myelinated nerves. In the membrane, cholesterol maintains the membrane fluidity. Cholesterol is the precursor for bile acids and bile salts. The ring structure of cholesterol is cannot be broken down to carbon dioxide and water. The sterol nucleus is eliminated from the body by conversion into the bile acids and bile salts and small percentage of cholesterol is excreted in feces. As all of you know, bile acid and bile salts are plays a very important role in the digestion and absorption of uh, lipids. That process is called as emulsification process. Cholesterol is the precursor for various steroid hormones, mainly glucocorticoids in that cortisol, mineralocorticoids it is aldosterone and uh, sex hormones and uh, these steroid hormone synthesis occurs mainly in the adrenal cortex, placenta, ovaries and testes. The next function or the most important function of cholesterol Cholesterol is the precursor for calcitriol. Calcitriol is 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol. This is known as active vitamin D. 7 dehydrocholesterol is present under the skin. Upon exposure to the sunlight or the UV light, 7 dehydrocholesterol converts into cholecalciferol. From the skin, cholecalciferol is transported to the liver. In the liver, cholecalciferol is converted to 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol in presence of the enzyme 25 hydroxylase. This conversion requires NADPH and cytochrome P450 monooxygenase system. 25 hydroxyl cholecalciferol, which is formed in the liver, is transported to the kidney. In the kidney, 1 alpha hydroxylase enzyme changes this 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol into 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol or calcitriol which is the active vitamin D and this conversion is also requires NADPH and cytochrome P450 monooxygenase system. Calcitriol plays a very important role in the calcium homeostasis. Thank you.